I don't know if I'm going to be on here too long, and I know I always say that, but I don't know why I decided to go live because, I don't know, now I don't feel like it. <laughs> uh, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes, y'all. It's so pretty out here. Pretty. Mm-hmm. Well, let me wipe my lean. Okay. I don't know. I just like talking about numbers. Numerology. Yeah, these are some prairie dogs. Hey, Granny. Hey, Joshua. Hey, Mayo. Hey, Score. Welcome back, Score. Yeah, it's these little things called prairie dogs. I heard they be chasing you, but I've never seen them. Let me show you. Hold on. Do y'all see that little thing right there? They call it prairie dogs. Watch, I'm gonna move just for a second. But they dig holes and they all around here, y'all. They go one over there, they over there. They're like all over this park. And they go in the they go in the ground. I don't know if this will be considered a state park. It might be. I just didn't know. But um, they go in the ground, and then they over here too. This I don't think this is a state park. And see, they over there too. Hey, Jamie. Uh. What's up, girl? How you doing, girl? Let me tell you, and I had I had shared y'all, I had shared y'all, um, the live y'all was on that day. I had shared it to the group, and then Anti said, "Ooh, Jamie, you're fine." <laughs> I said, "I know, right, girl? You had your earrings on, you had your hair done, you had your makeup done." And I said, oh, I'm getting hot. She said, I got to get up off of here because looking at Jamie, a girl, she fine. <laughs> girl, I was tickled. You hear me? I said, oh, wait, when I get a chance, I'm going to tell her what you said. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I thought that was too funny. She was like, Jamie is so beautiful. I was like, she is. She was like, man, these women too fine. I need to get up out of here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, Esteban. How are you? <laughs> you welcome. You welcome. Yeah, y'all. Mm-hmm. I was thinking about, yeah, I'm just walking and I need somebody to talk to. But, you know, I want to talk about numbers. Okay? I want to talk about numbers. I don't know. Whatever y'all want to talk about. I'm flattered. Girl, she was getting hot. <laughs> if I was to show you the chat, honey, it was too funny. I was tickled. She said, I wonder what sign. I wonder what sign she is. She said she probably a Scorpio. I said, I'm going to ask her. And then that's when you told me you was a Sagittarius. I say, nah, girl, she a Sag. <laughs> uh, too funny. Tay, hey, what's up, Tom? No weapons formed against me shall prosper. Okay, that's what's up. Can you say my name? Big boy. 
Big boy, what's up, big boy? Who somebody let me read they they life path number. What's your life path? Or yeah, and this is how you get your life path number, right? Add the month you was born, the day, and the year. So if you were born on December, two plus one is three. And say you were born on the 24th, two plus four is six, right? So you would add the six plus the three, six, seven, eight, that would make it nine. And then single, single digit add your last year. The year, I mean, not last year, the year you were born. So 19, let's just say 1965. Nine plus one is 10 plus six is 16, and then plus five, which will make it 20. Right? So then what did I say? 20 plus nine, it'll be 29. 29, nine plus two, nine, 10. That would be a master number 11. No, it's not cloudy out here. Oh, you said hi to cloudy. Thank you. I appreciate it. Y'all can barely see the sun. It's so pretty out here, y'all. It's beautiful. This is what the resurrection is. It's all of resurrection of spring. That's it. Resurrection of Mother Nature. That's what the Easter is about, the spring equinox. Let me see what y'all talking Hey, Miss QT. How are you? Can you say my name? Okay, yeah. It's like, I think it's like 80 degrees out here, y'all. For real. But I'm just out here walking. I'm from Texas. From Texas. You can't tell by my accent? Mm -hmm. I'm from Texas, though. Let me show y'all how pretty it look out here. You a master number 11? You are time? You added it up? Oh, time. Okay, let's see. Let's do master number 11. Uh, So master number 11, these people, in your mind, a lot, you're always thinking about balance, right? So you reside on 11 energy, but you reside on the two because one plus one is two, right? So a lot of the times, anything... Say, like, if you want to release something, if you want to release a book or you want to do business, you know, you want to start your business, 11 is your number. So you always want to start a start a business on the 11 or start um, or release a book on the second, because that is your best. That's like your your number. Right. You you reside on that energy. So whatever you do, whenever you want to start an endeavor, always think about doing it on the 11th or the 2nd. But as far as a master number 11, um, this life path, let's talk about master number 11. So celebrity-wise, a master number 11, you know you got Cat Williams. Cat Williams is a master number 11. So 11s tend to be androgynous people. So when I say androgynous, I mean like they could have man or woman features. Like you could be like a, and this is like not to to talk shit or nothing like that. But um, um, Jamie, just add up your the month you were born to the day you were born to the year. Add it up to two digits and tell me what those two digits are. So, for example, if you were born November, 
it would be one plus one, which is two. And then say you were born on the 24th, which would be two plus four, which would be six. And then 1985, one plus nine plus eight plus five and get that number. And then add the two, the month, the day, and the year. Add it up to two digits and give me those two digits and tell me what they are, if that makes sense. But um, androgynous, like you might have androgynous features. You know, you could be like a woman and you might have maybe bigger hands or big eyes. You know, that's what I mean by androgynous features. That's what happens tends to be with uh, life path 11s. But very insightful. This is a master, a master healer. These are master intuitive people. So you feel things a lot, you know. You can feel what's going on. Maybe when you walk in the room, you can feel certain things. A life half 11 is typically tired time. You're probably tired. If you don't, if you don't get rid of that energy in a healthy way, it gets stuck inside of you like right here, because life path 11s tend to have issues like low low back pain, legs, like any, they tend to have pain from the waist down, right? Because you guys tr take on a lot of energy from other universes or other places. You take that energy, you transmute it, you bring it here, and then it goes down. And then it ends up getting stuck because you guys don't know how to transmute that energy in a healthy way. So when it gets stuck, then as a life path for living, you guys tend to have back, hip, leg, feet, all of that, all them type of pains because you're not meditating. You're not getting rid of that energy like you should, right? So and if you have those issues, I would be on the lookout for that. Right. Um, what did you say, Tom? Uh, but um, you know, as a eleven, you can you guys can be like a Reiki healer. You guys could be, you guys are like a a transmuter, right? So you guys are like grid workers for the universe. You know, you guys could be crystal workers. Red workers, Reiki healing, anything that has to do with like health, healing people, taking care of people in some type of way. Um, that's the type of careers you guys can be into. But you guys are very giving and loving people. You know, when y'all, when y'all make it, when y'all make it, y'all give back to the people. You do. Two and 11 is my favorite number. I don't hold my tongue. I have to work on energy because everybody needs. Yes, 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 yes. That's exactly it, time. Um, you guys take in a lot of energy from different people. So that's why y'all are tired a lot. Right? So you have to get your rest and you have to protect your peace. You know? You have to protect yourself because you guys take on a lot of a lot of energies, a lot of energies and a lot of information. So, yeah, girl. Time I'm waiting on my birth. Uh oh, Scorp says she waiting on her birthday gift. You waiting on your Scorp? Your birthday ain't here yet. What's up, Slee? Your birthday not here yet. What is Scorpio? Scorp Scorpio your main number what? In October? October and part of and a little bit of November. Your birthday not here yet, Scorp. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. I just ate. Uh, what else about master numbers eleven? What else relentless? Um 
sometimes, and this is not always true, hi, bees. Sometimes you guys have something related to your birth. Like when you were first born, something crazy might have happened, like some type of story that your parents told you happened when you were a baby or when you were like first born. Sometimes Life Path 11s have some type of crazy story around uh, their birth. I know when I, when I was doing consultations, and this is just an example, I'm not saying this happened to you, but when I was doing consultations, someone was a Life Path 11, and they told me that they almost like got kidnapped from a baby. So I thought that was interesting. But I've heard all kinds of stories. Making time for myself is important when I do and I go to the country so people can't get in touch. That's good. That's good. Yeah, master, master number 11 tend to do very well. But just because I'm saying all of this stuff, you know, there is, if anyone understands what, what this is, there is duality in everything. You know what I mean? Like, there is a light and there is a dark to everything. Nobody, nobody on this freaking planet is all good. I don't care who you are. Nobody on this planet is just all good, like all the time. Like, I mean, don't do any wrong whatsoever. It's, it's not, it's, it's impossible, you know? So that's why you have duality. You have a light side and you have a dark side. All of us can be very good people, and but we can be very, you know, not bad, but we could, you know, if you rub us the wrong way, we can get at you. And that's just real. You know, that's anybody. I don't care who you are. So that's why there's duality within anything and everything you do. Even even the even nature, even with nature, there's duality in nature. What's up, relentless? Hey, pow pow, warm me. What's up, warm me? Thanks for coming in. How you been, Prince? Stress is a killer to your beating. It definitely is. Yep. What up? Hey, nine. Who is it? Oh, that's word. You shouldn't have let you. She shouldn't have let her see you. She wants you. So you shouldn't have let us uh, see you. She wants you now. I'm doing good on my bed, LOL, goodbye. It's nighttime over there. Hey, Nick, I just watched your Popeye's video. Girl, I think I have to make me some of them biscuits, honey. Them things look good. Because I know them, stri them strawberry biscuits was a hit. Girl. Girl, them things is good. They look good. Anyway, hey, Tracy. What's up? If I'm going to be a butterfly, I can can at least get a red imp. Okay, word. I see what I can do. What? Uh-uh, I didn't see it. Yeah, I can hardly see because of the sun, y'all. They were so good. And then when I went to Popeye's, they ran out. I was like, I need to learn how to make them. Girl, yes. They don't even make them anymore, though. I don't even think you can even go and get them things no more. Y'all, she did her thing with them biscuits. They was good, good. You make me want to chop up some strawberries. For real. 
No. So back to what we were talking about. Okay. Duality, right? Duality. No, ain't nobody on this planet all good. So you can miss me with that. That's basically duality. You got a light and you got a dark side. So when I was talking about master number 11, right? Um, with master number 11, it's everything that I'm saying is the potential of what you could be or could not be, right? All it is is just a guy. Um, all it is is a guy of what you can be. You can be greater than that. You know? it's, it's just, I guess, a, a roadmap, right? A tool you can use to help and find out. But when I say these things, it doesn't mean that that's necessarily you. I hope y'all understand that because I have to keep saying that a lot. And sometimes when I'm when I'm doing readings, um, it might not fit you. And if it does it fit you, most likely you need to ask yourself, like, am I on the light side or the dark side of this ember? Ooh, homemade buttermilk smoked gouda. Ooh, hold on to time. Do you cook? Like, you be coming up with some wild stuff, but it be sounding good. Like, do you, are you a cook or do you just like food? Because you said some curry, huh? You said curry salmon. How the tacos came out. I fell asleep holding my phone. <laughs> they came out good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, they came out real good too. And I had made me some spaghetti tacos, girl. I made me some spaghetti tacos too. And I did the the shells on the outside. I made the shells crunchy. And girl, those spaghetti, I don't know if y'all ever had spaghetti tacos. She is spaghetti tacos slap. <laughs> they slap for real. Yeah, spicy curry salmon. For real. Yeah, I don't feel like walking. I want to just sit down and talk. I'm being lazy today. And I don't know why. I don't know. Like, I just ate those tacos. I literally just want to sit down. Look at me trying to find somewhere to see. Hey. I'm just a city bunch of shade. Yeah, I was supposed to come and work out. Oh well. I'll probably come back later to do my last, my last walk. Hold on. Dang, I got the thing up. The sun is shining. I can barely see the screen now. Hold on. That spaghetti sinking chip. Man, that thing was fire. Try it, Ned. That thing was fire. I'm not, listen. I'm the only thing I'm mad at is I didn't make any ranch. I should have made some ranch and I knew it. If y'all go listen to that live, I said I really want to make some ranch with it, but I don't I didn't feel like making it. That's where I messed up at. Hey Sky. What's up, Frank? I see your channel still going. But yeah, y'all. Man, I'm talking about that thing. Was so, oh, it was so good. And the uh, another thing I'm mad at is I was sitting there waiting because I was waiting for Intrinsic to go live, and why? And she could like she couldn't get her computer working or something. So while I'm sitting there waiting for her to go live, my sandwich is getting soggier and soggier, and like. 
that's the only thing I'm mad at is that like the sandwich wasn't as like crunchy, crispy, you know. But y'all, man, try that. Just try it, bro. Try it. I'm not capping. That was good. I'm telling you, that was good. That's why I should have made a badger. I know. But I use I do make badges, but I use it up so much because I love if I have ranch at home, guess what? Like now I have a batch because I made a batch today. Cause I made it with that buffalo taco. Girl, if I got a batch, what I do is I use that ranch. I probably um I probably make me a salad tomorrow and use that ranch. Just because I be one ranch in my life. It's sad. I'll use it up real quick. I'm being nosy. And you use jackfruit a lot, so I take it that it have a meaty. Yes. I mean, I use everything, but it's 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 literally, it's honestly, what do I have on hand? That's really what I be wanting to use. Anything that I have on hand, I don't have to go to the store and get, I'll use. If it's mushrooms, I'm going to use that. I'm going to definitely use mushrooms because my mushrooms go really, really quick. You know, mushrooms don't stay stay good for a long time after you purchase them. Ever thought of, um, yes, Relentless, I have thought of opening a restaurant, but the thing is, is that a restaurant is really, really hard. Like, I don't want, this is my thing, right? I'm at a point in life now where I don't want to be, how do I say this? I'm going to just probably, I'm just saying, I don't really want to work hard, work as hard. And I feel like if you have a restaurant, you have to work really, really hard. I like to make my money really easy, really quick. Now, I'm not saying uh, later in life, would I want to have a restaurant? I mean, maybe I might feel different. You know what I mean? After not working for so many years, I might feel like, you know what? I want to open up a restaurant. But right now in my life, I'm happy trading the stock market, making a few bucks here or there, you know what I mean? Providing for my family like that. I like it like that. And me being, and my life being flexible and I'm being, I get to do whatever it is I want to do. I'm not bound to my job or bound to the restaurant, if that makes sense. Oh, you can make a vin vinaigrette for a vegan sandwich. I love dipping my sandwiches. Oh, that would be good. I actually, I got a cookbook coming out and I actually have a, um, I ain't gonna tell y'all, I ain't gonna tell y'all what's in it, but I have an ebook coming out and this ebook is really, really simple. The ingredients, I feel like, okay, so when I decided to bring out this ebook, I made it to where people who were not vegan wanted to do try vegan meals or someone who was trying to convert over and just didn't know how and things like that. So I made this book really, really simple. It's not going to be like the extravagant is how I do things because the things I do, it takes a little bit longer to cook. And I feel like if somebody is newly vegan or if you just even want to implement vegan meals into your life, you're not going to want to do all of that. You know what I mean? Now today, everybody don't have a lot of time. People just want, you know, 20 minutes to max to cook a meal. And then, you know, that's it. Be done with it. So I got an ebook coming out and all of the meals are 20 minutes or less. A lot of the meals I have, um, they're like five to 10 minutes, literally. <laughs> like, this is for people who really don't want to cook like that, but, you know, maybe don't want to eat meat, meat a few days or something. I love it. Well, I can't wait. Oh, thank you, Nan. I appreciate it. Why be careful with mushrooms? I mean, mushrooms is fungus. I mean... 
I'm sure y'all it ain't worse than that. I mean, you put you put a, a pig in your mouth, you put a, a chicken in your mouth. What's wrong with fungus? I don't see nothing wrong with it. Yes, I tried cauliflower. If you go to that, I've, I've used, in the videos that I've done, I used cauliflower in that Wingstop chicken sandwich, which was a bomb as AF bomb. That was the best chicken sandwich ever. And then I turned around and cooked it again like a few days later on live. So I think you guys can, I think, I don't think I sent that to my members. I think you guys can see that one. But um, those, those wings, those wings I did, those are cauliflower. And what else did I cook with cauliflower? And then I might have did like some cauliflower tacos. Yes, Granny, cauliflower is good. No, I'm saying like, oh, yeah, yeah, I did do it as rice one time. So let's see. You know that. I did, this is when I went raw, when I went vegan, like raw vegan. If you go to my um, my raw sushi mukbang, I use cauliflower as rice. Yeah, cauliflower is good as rice. I like it. Have y'all ever had couscous? I bought me some couscous. Um... I bought me some couscous the other day. I've never had it. And I probably shouldn't have bought the frozen kind. It's it's couscous with like mixed vegetables inside. And it's frozen. But I was going to try it out and see how it tastes. Have any of y'all tried couscous before? No, uh, cauliflower, yes. It fights cancer cells. Yeah, it does. Man, all of these God-given vegetables. It's so sad, right? Because my friend, actually my friend died of, um, what is it called? I can't think of what it's called. Mm, it'll come to me. But uh, at the time, I was vegan. I was vegan and my friend knew I was vegan because I was I was vegan many, many years. And um she was pretty much like on her deathbed dying. And she called me and wanted me to make her like a a juice. And she knew because she it was something, it was like her kidneys. Her, her kidneys were damaged or something. And her kidneys were failing and she was dying. But this is the thing, right? You can't, listen, vegetables can save you. Vegetables can heal you. You know, they can heal you, they can. But you can't be like on your dying bed and then now you want to change the, the way that you eat. It's, it's like it's kind of too late. You know, you can't wait till like you're dying to want to like be healthy. You know, it, it takes time for these vegetables to get inside of you and to work. And it's not going to happen in like, you know, one week, two weeks. You literally need, in order to change, to start healing your body, you need at least six weeks of being healthy. Six weeks of eating raw vegetables and raw fruits. You know what I mean? And six weeks, you should see a change, some type of change, but you have to continue fully. I would say totally for you to see uh, some healing, I would say at least three to six months. Get dry and season with lemon, salt, pepper, garlic, diced tomato, cucumber, parsley. Oh, yeah, that's real good. You You already know, Granny. Yeah, it has to be a long light. So I feel bad when my friend called me. And I ain't gonna lie, at the time we wasn't, we had kind of fell out over something. So we wasn't talking, but she reached out to me 
and I answered the phone. And I didn't know that she was dying, you know? I didn't know that she was dying, but she told me. She was like, you know, they say I don't have that much long to live. live. And then she was like, can you bring me over a juice? Can you bring me? So I was like, okay. And I ended up researching to look and see uh, what juices would heal her kidney. And I, and at the time, I think it was, what did I put in there? I know I put like lemon, ginger. I put uh, that root, that red root or whatever. I can't even think of the name of it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I can't even think of the name of it, but yeah, I had put that in her juice and I gave I gave it to her and it was like, she really didn't want to drink it, y'all. She really didn't want to drink it. And she was like, this is good. Like she didn't, she didn't like the taste. She didn't like the taste. But to me, I like, I don't know about y'all, I like um fruit juices. I like fruit juices. If you put you some some celery, some apple, some lemon, some ginger, y'all, I love that. And juice it up, man, and get you, you know, you could put some more fruit in there. Man, that, it'd be so good to me. I love stuff like that. But she didn't like it. Yeah, beets. That's what it was. Oh, absolutely. You definitely put these in perspective because I went vegan to pescatarian. Now I'm back to the meat. I do want to go back vegan. I feel a lot better. Yep. You feel a lot better, a lot of energy. You know what I mean? I'm just being honest. Like when you are when you are a high vibrational being or in your D, if your DNA, you were built a certain way, like you're not. I mean, let me tell you something. <laughs> in actuality, this little boy crying. In actuality, you know, they put all of these negative foods here for a reason. Let's be real. If they put these foods here for a reason. It ain't because they taste good. Yeah, they taste good, but. Mm, Dang. Every time I talk about stuff, I hate to talk about, you know, I hate to talk about certain things because it, it, it like excludes people and I don't want people to feel a certain type of way. That's not my intentions. I went heavy on celery and my drink came from too salty. Really? I didn't know celery could be like salty. Celery is nothing but like water. That's all it holds to me. Right now, it's like they're trying to get rid of us here because, yeah, they try to get rid of you. This is why they put these foods in your face. You know, they really are. They're trying to get rid of you. You know, this is why people don't uh, live a, a long time. I didn't know it can taste salt, but it don't seem it don't seem salty. But that's weird though. Yeah, that's what it is. It's population control. But what I don't understand it is, is that like who are y'all? Who are y'all to sit up? This 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 is the world that we live in, right? We live in a world where you got people who make money. And they try to figure out how to get rid of other people. Like, y'all ain't got nothing else better to fucking do. You ain't got nothing else to better better to, better to do than to have all of this money and figure out how we gonna get rid of everybody. It's enough people to live. It's enough people here to, you know, to, to live. Why why are they in the business? Like, who the fuck are y'all? Y'all not God. You not God to try to get rid of people. Let's get rid of them through immunization. That's why y'all be out there taking those shots. No, -uh. ain't gonna catch me taking down shot. I don't care how spooky it is. Try to put the little C word in my face. That don't mean nothing. I still didn't take the shot. You ain't supposed to scare me to death. That's all it is. Everything is a fear tactic. Fear tactic. Fear, fear, fear. That's all they do. 
that's the oldest trick in the book. They try to scare you. Oh, you going to die. Oh, you going to hell. Oh, this, oh, that. All it is is fear. And start with our little kids with the colorful packaging on candy and sodas. Yes, exactly. And McDonald's know what they're doing. You think that yellow and red is not, is, is, is you think, you think they just happen to come up with those colors? They didn't happen to come, come up, come up with those colors. These people with these big companies, they know what they're doing. And believe me, they know melanated history very well. They know melanated history so strong that they use it against you. <laughs> They use melanated history against you. And you don't even know your own history. Because why? They don't teach it to you on purpose. Because they don't want you to know. Because they want to use the tricks on you. So if you don't go out and seek the information, guess what? you just going to be part of the uh, the, rap, the rap project. You're going to be uh, one of the little mices. It, this is what this place is. It's an experiment. And it's to realize, are you a part of the experiment? Or are you going to get out of the experiment? It's up to you. I didn't take the... Yeah, I'm not taking no jab. I'm not taking none of that stuff. I mean, to each his own. If you, if you took it, good for you. But I'm not taking nothing. Nothing you want people want to sit up and say, oh, the devil. No, that them people are the devil. Them people are the devil. You want to speak of, speak about devils, them the devils. The people that run this app are the devils. The people that have control are the devils. Shit. Sure. I didn't know McDonald's had a warning sign on that Christian. I did not know things, but that motherfucking shot was not one of them. Right, score. I'm not taking the shot. I'm good on that. But you know, good. Good for y'all. If y'all did decide. Like my son, when he was younger, I didn't know any better. So he got immunization shots. But my daughter, no. I said I didn't want her to get any shots. She doesn't have any shots to this day. Why do you need... Why do you need these shots? For what? For what? But you know, y'all do what you want. Y'all, I'm not trying to force nobody to do anything, but as of now, these people have been taking my energy for years and I don't want to be a part of the pro I don't want to be a part of the experiment no more. I'm 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 learning my history. I'm still um I'm still learning my history, but I know enough to know uh, what's going on and uh, they're no longer taking my energy and I'm no longer celebrating these bullshit ass holidays anymore either. You know what I mean? We And then especially single moms, we sit up here and we break our back and break our neck to go Christmas shopping, to go to get school clothes, to get Easter baskets, um, to get all of these little bullshit ass holidays. And that don't be nothing but for you to spend your money. That's it. That's all it is. It's a setup for you to give your money away. I'm not doing that no more. I'm done with all that stuff. It's a trick. That's all it is. You know, I'm not trying to stop nobody from doing what they want to do. You know, more power to you if you want to celebrate. You know, if you believe in the Easter Bunny that lay eggs, if you believe in Santa Claus and stuff like that, more power to you. It's just that I'm no longer uh, entertaining the BS anymore. And I entertained it. My parents entertained it for a long time, and I'm stopping it right here. No more of my generation ain't going to do that dumb ass shit no more. I don't want to call it dumb because if some people decide to do it, I don't want people to feel like it's it's dumb. So my bad on that. I did not up things with that motherfucker. I created my own holy days around the solstice. Yes. And that's what I'm going to start doing. I just got to figure out like how I'm going to do it, what, I, what I'm going to do. And I guess I just need to plan for something and then just do it 
and the the holiday, the holy days or whatever will evolve. You know what I mean? I can do something one year and then it'll evolve into something else and something else. So, yeah, y'all. I'm just waking up to the knowledge. And thankfully, word, like, let me tell you something, y'all. Learning learning melanated history is so difficult and tough because they spread it all. Up. They, they have spread in our history all over. It's a reason. They don't want you to know. You know what I mean? They don't want you to find out the truth. So this is why, like, when I was studying many, many years ago, I ain't gonna lie, I part, you know, just chopping it up with word and stuff like that. And y'all, he, the dude is goaded, y'all. He know his shit. Like, he, he, he goaded. Okay, he goaded. He know his, he know the, he know the history very well. And so for somebody who don't know it that well and you're reading, this is the thing. It was so many civil civilizations. If you realize you got Samaria, you got Mesopotamia, you got Greek, you got Roman, you got so many different civilizations that came, came about. And so you could be reading, you could be reading one civilization that stole or took the knowledge from the civilization before. So it's so difficult, like finding out the timetables, like the time of when stuff happened, is so it's it's hard when you're studying. If you don't have anyone to guide you and say, oh no, these were not the original people. These people stole from these people. It it it'll be so hard. Like you just have to like study for years and years to figure it out. And luckily, like, when I talk to him, I be like, yo, so I read this story. What? And he'll be like, no, 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 no. That wasn't the beginning. He's like, yeah, like, they stole from these people. And he be like, go look at Samaria. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Y'all, it be difficult. What about leprechauns? I know they are real. You ain't gonna take a pot of gold. No, leprechauns are not real to me. I used to be scared of leprechauns though, no cap. Like I used to be scared of leprechauns. Because you know why? Because you remember, you remember, uh, what was that movie? That, that leprechaun movie that we all used to watch? leprechaun in the hood or something like that i can't remember and that leprechaun used to laugh and stuff like that and it was scary tales from the crib was it tales from the crib yeah i used to watch that as a kid why movies ain't movies no more movies used to be movies back in the day okay like man tales from the crib was good <laughs> Oh, it was good, man. I remember them days. I wonder if you could see that video, if you could see those movies or those little episodes or series, whatever you want to call it. Yes, open-minded. I'm getting me some vitamin D. Getting that good old sun. It's the spring equinox, the spring equinox, shoot. Yep. I seen Leprechaun in the hood. Are you not gonna convince me it ain't real? I know for a long time as a kid, I thought it was real. I used to be scared. Oh, you got three legs, Bear. Let me see, Bear. Post it on your page. Let me see how your three legs look. Uh oh, I didn't even see Scorp say she fell. She fell downstairs. You fell? You all right? I hope you okay. But yeah, y'all, being in Mother Nature. Y'all, I'm going to ask the tree, can I hug it? 
So what you supposed to do is I want to hug a tree. Tree, can I hug you? Let me hug. I want to hug the tree. I'm straight. I ain't trying to see the ribs. Let me hug the tree, y'all. I bet you people looking at me like I'm crazy. You can feel the energy from the tree, though. For real, though. Man, you know how long trees been around? Shit. If anything, if any, if anybody know exactly what went on on the, in this realm, it's gonna be these trees that know. These trees have been here forever. Okay. These trees know what's up. They know the truth. I'm straight. I ain't trying to see three legs. <laughs> ah, post it on your page. Let me see three legs. Post it on there. Because people just be saying anything. I want to go. I'm going to go grounding, y'all. I want to take my shoes off. Look at nature. Isn't, isn't it just so beautiful? Like, just look at nature, y'all. Literally, we are all one. This is just so beautiful. So nice. You are, we are literally like plants. The only thing is we don't have chlorophyll. So we don't turn green. But at one point, I heard there was, now I don't know if there was green green people, but I heard there were blue people here. Blue and red. I read blue and red people. Blue and red people. I read we're here. This is why you got the thing. See, that's what I be saying. Like, nothing is a doggone coincidence. Like, you know how they have, like, those blue people? that be, you know, in those little blue suits, that represents the people that was here. Here you go on now, y'all. That represents the people that was here. You know what I'm saying? At one point, there were blue people and there were, I'm sure there was probably all colors. I'm sure there was probably green people. Have y'all read about it? Open-minded, have you read? Because I don't know. I know I read about the red people. Yeah, they call bloods and... Man, you play too much. <laughs> you play way too much. I'm a red well copper. Oh, work, for real work. That's y'all um, tribe or whatever you call it. We do have sugar like chlorophyll in our system. Yeah, we do have sugar, but we don't have the color chlorophyll that makes the plant green. We don't have that in us. The replacement of that in us is, I forgot. What is it, word? Or what is it, y'all? The replacement we have, instead of chlorophyll, we have, oh, melanin. Yeah, it's melanin. Melanin. So that's what gives us the pigment that we have. That's the only thing I get, I, I believe, from plants. Hey, Pastor Dean.
Pastor, you a real pastor? Oh no, you probably don't want to be over here. I'm spiritual. But you know, welcome in. I had enough of that, pastor, preacher. I had enough of that. I grew up a PK kid. I'm I'm running away from that. I turned darker in the summer and get lighter in the winter. Yeah, that's me too. That's moi. Yeah, that's me too. For sure. But yeah, we have melanin and then, yeah, the chlorophyll just has a coat. The, they have, I mean, plants have chlorophyll. Worry, look, the prairie dog is going to come right up out of there. That's his little hole right there. Oh, you a pastor in real life, huh? Let me ask you something, Pastor Dean. Do you know your history? And I don't mean the history that you were taught in school. Do you know your history? Have you researched to take a look? I'm just curious. Because I feel like a lot of our people would be so much better if they were taught their history. You wouldn't believe in certain things if you knew. But because you don't know and because they don't teach you who you are, you believe in certain things. You know? So I'm just curious. I feel like if everybody... Mm, but that's the thing. Nowadays, you live in a world where people don't want to read. Or people don't... And that's the crazy thing is everybody got a phone. Everybody got a phone, but people won't even look. Do like a... I ain't even saying you got to sit and be a rat and just do a lot of research. Because even I don't, I don't do it anymore. I used to sit. I don't do it anymore, but I'm going back to that. But a lot of people don't research to even look and try to find out who they are. Let's talk Adam and Eve and the science behind the names. Let's talk Adam. Let's talk Adam. Let's talk. And let's talk Eve. And let's talk Eve biting the apple, which was knowledge, because the apple represents knowledge. It doesn't, it doesn't mean the actual apple. Let's talk. Absolutely. I got the same internet as you, whispering hallways of nonsense. Whispering hallways of nonsense. Okay. So if that's the case, then I don't think your name would be Pastor Dean if you knew who you were, because you wouldn't put a pastor in front of your name. You would just put Dean, or you would put um, God Dean, Dean Ra, or or a Dean Anu. <laughs> uh, I've been here a couple of times, not fully, but I have fragments in my past. Uh, okay, what are we made of and when do humans grow? It's Atom. Yes, it's Atom in Eve. Of course, open minded. I like missing books because of narratives of people. The people pushing, the people was pushing at that time. <laughs> open-minded teaching. Man, open-minded, we need to get on the panel with you one day. She teaching, yes, as if I know my history, I absolutely know my I don't think you do know, Dean. What you know about Sumeria? What you know about Mesopotamia? I'm curious. 
What you know about the Garden of Eden? Uh, Eve? And I'm not talking about the Garden of Eve in the Bible. The Garden of Eden. I'm sorry. And I'm not talking about it in the Bible. Because again, like I say, if you knew, if you knew, I'm talking about your real history, you wouldn't be caught. You wouldn't be pushing the narrative that you're, you wouldn't be pushing your teachings or what you're doing if you knew your history. You would go against that and you would be teaching your history. So you can't know your history. You're telling me you know, but you can't know your history because you're pushing the devil's narrative. Word don't know how many times for me. Different people have different history. Is his story is not the same. Yeah. It's not the same. I just, I just hate our, I just hate to see our people. I don't even want to say our people, you know what I mean? But I just hate to see certain people pushing this narrative. But, but I mean, this is the plan. This is what they do, you know? This is what they do. They don't they don't teach your history for a reason. So so they can play games with you. Y'all, I'm about to go. Ooh, we this this was real good. I had this son. I had the sun. I'm thirsty. I need some water. Yeah, I need some water now. I only did one lap. A shame of me. I'm going to come back out here later, y'all. I might go live with y'all. Because I got to get my extra lap in. I don't know why I'm just tired today. Just don't want to do nothing. Shoot, I really want to go take a nap. Hey, PIA, how you doing? Girl, I'm about to go. Get out. Thank you for coming in. Did you finish that helmet? Because I showed it. Take a look at your face to see if you finished the helmet. I'm sure it came out good. She can get her. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm Thursday. Thursday. What up, King? What it do? I need some more water. What up, Papa Will? Let me be quiet, y'all. Papa Will gonna Google everything I say. No, let me stop. He gonna Google everything words say. It's a reason why Jesus came to give you a different way from the God of the Bible. The book of Thomas even states that that God was the God of all, but the word, you know, I can't read, you know, I can't read big words. I don't know what that means. Tell me what that word means. Yeah, you know I can't read big words. Hold on, y'all. Hey. 
Hey, from India. Where was going on? Yeah, I'm about to go, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good one. The book of Thomas even said that God was a God. I'm good, baby. What's up? Be right up. Give me. Lord, now you want to come up. Okay, well, come on then. I guess I'll stay on here then. Where is he going to come up? What up, Nan? What up, can you hear me? Can you, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, the demi urge. So, like, when you start reading Gnostic texts, it'll tell you that the God that created this world is not uh, the most high, is a subordinate, is a lesser God. who actually got cast away because it was made without permission from the Supreme God. So that guy got cast into the shadows and didn't have nothing or nobody. So they created this world, but that's, that's the Gnostic belief. But those books, like even the book of, uh, the secret book of John or the apocryphal text of John, uh, states the same thing. There's a couple books that's, that have similar understandings of uh, the God of the Bible. And so they had to take those books out. Like even the Book of Giants stated that. Um, the Book of Giants stated this is a subordinate God. It's a God above this God. So anything that stated that there's someone above the God of the Bible, they omitted from the Bible. And that's I didn't history. know that. So that come from the Gnostic texts. Yeah, and but that's history, man. It's like three. It's like two or three different factions of what they call Gnostic, and they all teach a little different. But is that why of, that's the flood that happened? That, that wasn't the reason for the flood. No, no. Even for the flood, you have to go. I like the 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 best. I ain't gonna say the best story, but the oldest story of the flood comes from the Epic of Gilgamesh. That's the oldest flood story, but even all cultures got a story about a great flood. Even Native Americans have a story about a great flood. So, um, so Demiraj means like a lesser god. Yeah, Demi Earth. Like, it depends. Like when you. When you look it up, it just say, um, like, if you look it up in a regular, like, if you Google it, it might say something like um, the God of this world. But if you look at the Gnostic, or if you look at the biblical, like a biblical dictionary, it'll tell you is a subordinate God of the Bible. It'll tell you is a subordinate God, like it's, it's a lesser God. That's why I say, like, like when you Google stuff, you got to cross-reference it with multiple, you know, some people Google stuff and just look at the first thing to pop up. Like, that's just the, I, I don't even know what the first thing to pop up because different, I can go on my computer. Yeah, you got to cross-reference. So, like, even when you're doing research, you have to have more than, I mean, most, like, all my college courses, we had to have at least, at minimum, three references that we cross-reference against one another. But, like, when I research, the way I do it is I find things that support what I think, and then I find things that go against what I think, and I compare and contrast. But when you research, and you can't be emotional about it. You know, you go find things that don't agree with you. You can't omit it or dismiss it because it don't go with your narrative. If you're looking for truth and facts, you just have to cross-reference things and 
analyze it and see what makes sense. And I'll take all the emotions out, you know? Oh my God, my son's tripping. I ain't, I ain't even go lie to you. Most of the time I research, I find a lot of things that, that I thought was wrong. But that, that gives me the opportunity, like I was saying earlier, I'd rather be right than wrong. So even if I think something and I come across information and it show me that I'm wrong, then I know what's right now. You know, like I, I promise you, people basic understanding of language of these words, if they really understood what these words meant, that's like when people walk around and say racist. Like, if you look at the structure of the word, it's, it's nothing bad. I-S-T, the suffix of I-S-T means proficient. So when you think of violinist, pianist, dentist, all these people are proficient in what they do. So if you say racist, they're proficient in a race. But if you look at a words like prejudice, prejudge is a compound word. You know, to prejudge someone, then that makes more sense when, when people say, you know, when they use the term racist. But I just feel the word racist is incorrect from the construction of the word. You know, people use words any way they want to, but like I, I can't accept it because I know words have frequency and vibration. And I think they use the term racist so people won't be proud. I don't think if you love yourself or love people to look like you, that means you hate other people. And that's how they use that word. Like the correct word is prejudice. You're prejudging someone predicated upon a skin color, a belief, a race, or and you're judging that they're bad. That is a more um, effective word. Because even racism, ISM means system or is a broader, but to summarize, it means system. So now if you talk about racism, you put in one race over another race, then that, that's more profound. But in a system, you have to have some type of authority or power. So even racism, you know, you have to be in a position to hold power to put a system in place to, um, to keep a race down. Well, no, but see, that's what I'm saying. A, a black a, power that's able to. That's race. Now that'd be racism. It's hard for black people or melanated people to uh, produce racism because what system are you in that they can put their people over your people? What do black people have to put black people over white people or any other people? It's you know, I don't see a system. We don't have an educational system. We don't have uh, a financial system. We don't have uh, really, really any type of economical system to put. No, but black people can be prejudiced. Black people can prejudge. Anyone can do that. But black people don't have a system yeah. No, you can be racist if you. I don't think. Up nine. I don't think most black people are racist because most black people don't know they race to be racist. IST means proficient. Like, look when you get a chance, look up IST. What that means as a suffix. So it's okay, you know, to have to be racist to to be proficient in your race to study to practice to know your race. That's okay. That's not a bad thing. But that's what I'm saying. Like, to even it, it's it's the the I don't want to cuss, but it's the the mind screwing they do with people using these words. These are spells. Literally, to create a word, you got to spell it. So it's the it's the 
the knowledgeable taking advantage of the ignorance. That's really what it is. Antisocial in the building. What up, man? I don't know if y'all can still hear me. Yeah, Papa will not go go look up. You have to go do some shit. Go down. Yeah, that, that's racism, right? I don't know. Last time I read, anybody be considered racist. You can prejudge. When I looked it up, that's how I saw Yeah, you definitely can prejudge. Look it up right. No, and see, that's like when it comes to words, and that's, that's probably because I study entomology too, that that's what made me interested in the construction of words is seeing how most of these, most of the grammatic words come from Latin, right? Which come from older words like Greek words. We got a lot of French words. English got a combination of culture words um, involved. So to understand what a word means, you have to break it down to the origin where how it was created. So a lot of these words we use, we throw around, we don't even truly know the meaning of them. Like the first time, like I knew what mortgage was. I knew what the word mortgage meant before I actually signed a contract. Um, so when I seen it on a contract, the dude, I'm like, I ain't signing no death note, no death note. He was like, what? And then he Googled the word. We like, I did not know what this word mean. I've been doing real estate for... I'm like, but then I had to realize, like, um, this is just the system I'm in. So, yeah, if I want this house, I got to sign this mortgage. But it was like, at that time, like, the way I was, you know, coming into information, I'm like, I am not binding myself to a contract to death over a house. And then I had to realize, like, if I want the house, I got to, you know, <laughs> you if you go live in the world, you got to, you can operate in the world but just don't be of the world miss tracy what up though appreciate you sis she must be going through a dead spot can you hear me yeah hey y'all do me a favor make sure y'all hit that like button man we had 20 plus people in here we only got 13 likes come on man it's free. That's, that's man, you know what? It's a sad thing. But I'll be watching my videos. I'll be having over three, four hundred views and be having like twenty some likes. And I'm like, why is it so hard to hit the like button, especially if you go watch it? Like, I mean, I don't know, man. That's weird to me. Like it's free. It's the don't hold. Now, check this out. Check this out, people. This is what y'all do. Hold the screen. You ain't even got to tap the three dots. Hold the screen and it'll pop up. You can hit the like, tap it again, and it'll go away. We're going to make it easy for y'all. Show take you some love. You know what? You know what, Tay? I'm a 33. I'm a master teacher. Y'all going to learn everything that I know. I'm giving it all away. This knowledge is free. I got to give it away before they take me out. <laughs> 
They trying to get me. They trying to nail me to the cross. So y'all better get everything y'all can before they get me. Y'all better take this damn knowledge. I'm going to stop. I'm going to get frustrated in a minute and stop trying to give y'all this sauce. I'm going to just start writing it in books and, and burying the books and they will find this shit centuries later. And they will be like, this is the gospel of the word. Got new <laughs> Oh, that's let me. I'm gonna let me stop playing because they next. I'm gonna be a what well, next? I'm gonna be a false prophet. I did well. Never mind. They already called me the antichrist. I was already called the Antichrist because I don't want to preach fear and hate and all that shit. I'm the bad guy, but I'm the one speaking life in the people. That shit crazy. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I'm going to get it. I see it. I'm going to get it. You see, Pops, that's, that's, uh, I got to, I got to look into that. Uh, I haven't really, because like the Native American language that I speak is, is, is multiple Native American language. But a lot of the Native American language that I speak, it tripped me out because my mother in law spoke Arabic. And I would say a word, and she was like, well, that means this in Arabic. Like, for instance, it's a word, um, kushusna, kushusna. So, in my language, it means, uh, like, we didn't talk like most people talk. We, it was more descriptive. So, it wasn't like a word for the sun. It was more of the, as the light rises. That's what it's like to say it in English or to give an understanding in English. It was the sun rising, but we didn't call it sun. It was the great light. So it's, Kashusna means the light rising, like so it'll be sunrise. But in her language, it meant um, dawn. Like it meant the same thing, but the conception, it meant dawn. Like the sun rising is dawn. Wow. But a lot of the words in my language had meaning in her language. And that kind of, I didn't understand that at first. And then I start understanding like that even like what Papa Will said one day. That's why like when Pop say stuff, I just go research it. Because when he was saying like how Native Americans had roots over uh, overseas or they had, they influenced people you know, overseas, when you experience shit like that, it makes sense. Like, what he's saying makes sense. They had to have some contact to have similar words. Like, I know that personally from interacting with my mother-in-law, speaking my native tongue, which is almost dead because my tribe is almost out of here. There's only 27 of us. But, like, that's on two different places of the planet. And then you start reading things like, um, the Emerald Tablets, and you like, hold on, man, Tahuti went all around the world educating and enlightening people, so of course you go find similarities with people, and then even taking the understanding of Pangea, um, it was all one landmass, and it split up, and then, what was I reading? It was a book. Um, I gotta find it. But it was a book. Um, Stating that the Tower of Babel, I can't 
don't even think an author now. But the story in the Bible about the Tower of Babel, when God knocked down a tower and scattered everybody and changed everybody's language, they were saying that was actually the breaking up of the landmass. It wasn't physical people, but he was like God broke up the land and separated the landmass. And when he did that, that's how people get separated. But we was all one at one point. And I'm like, that correlates with the Tower of Babel, Tangier. But that's what research is. And to be honest, anything written in history, none of us was here. So to prove it, I mean, it'd be very difficult. It'd be very difficult to prove anything from the past if you weren't here. You don't have first-hand accounts. You still have to go off faith and belief to accept it. And that's why, like, all that stuff was, like, kind of racking my brain because it's, like, so much information. And it's so extensive to try to pinpoint it down. And I'm like, how is this? I'm spending all this time in the past, and I'm not doing it in the present. So that's why I kind of shifted. I'm talking about all the history and religion to personality and behavior. Like, let's fix, let's fix us, and then we can write our own story. Mm-hmm. You've been there, though. At least you know enough. You researched enough. It's people like me. I don't, I don't feel like I've spent a lot of time. You know. Man, if you had my old. If you have my old notes, like I'm not even over exaggerating, I probably get over probably about 70 notebooks just for information from religion to language to history, just all these different things I studied over the years. I got to get to the um, that's why I was telling my dad when I was over there the other day, like, I mean, somebody take me to the storage unit so I can go retrieve all that, but there's so much stuff in there. That's what I'm saying, Papa. It is expensive to get many receipts. Let's fix us and go from there. That is true. That's what I don't I'm know. To do. I'm so interested. I'm so interested. I don't know why I'm invested. It's like I don't know. I have to. I have to. But you know what? People gonna be writing about us. People will be writing about the 9%. I already see it. I feel it. I've seen it. Like, I already seen it. Things we so, go do, things we go accomplish, they're going to be writing about us. See, they're already talking about us. I know. Y'all so do be talking. Damn. They're already Any, talking. So. Anything we'll that I do, anything that I do, I go to the store. Well, you in the nine percent, and you went to the stuff. What does that have to like? <laughs> people put the nine percent on. I mean, I appreciate it because y'all put the nine percent at a high regard. And so, if I do something, you say, "Well, you did this," to, and you call yourself the nine percent. I mean, y'all be on my head, bro. <laughs> on my head. I can't do nothing. Like, I think they literally look at the 9% as like Jesus. Don't look at it like that because we ain't perfect over here. And perfection is only deemed at the end of the creation. And I'm still breathing. So wait till I die and then, uh, then judge me. I think that's fair. Right. Like, I'm still going to mess up. You know, do I want? No. But I still got a lot of a lot of life ahead of me. So I know I'm going to mess up. So don't come on here after I mess up and then be like, well, you you in the 9%. I messed up. I'm human. Okay? Things are going to happen. I'm not always going to be perfect. Well, to quote the great philosopher Jesus Christ, right? Cast the first stone. Those without sin cast the first stone. People don't really truly understand what they're saying. He's telling you, like, look, stop fucking judging people. <laughs> right. You stop projecting <laughs> because that's what people do. People come into your comments and they project. And it's like, no, sweetie, that's you. That's you. Yeah. Don't come over here thinking or saying something about me. And that's not me. That's you. That's how you think. 
But this is my thing. Why do you care so much? If if I'm a messed up person or what I'm doing is not delightful to you, why do you even take the time out your day to tell me that? Right. Like, do I hold that much power over you? Like, the things that I do affect you. You need to work on you then because my intentions is not on you. I'm not thinking about you. You're thinking about me. So the time you wasting worrying about what I'm doing, you're neglecting yourself for what you could be doing. So that's how I look at it. That's why you don't see me and people comments unless I'm, you know, showing some love. But you ain't going to never see me in nobody comments. You ain't going to never see me in nobody chat talking about what they're doing because I don't care. I got, I'm too busy worried about what I got to do. Facts. I agree. I would never. I just don't have time. Stay busy. That's all you got to do. The busier you are, the less you can worry about other people. Right, because if you get in my comments and say I'm a jealous, no, that's you. You projecting. Chill. <laughs> people be wild. People, people are sick. People will follow you just to see you f up, and then say hi. See, I told you. Like, what you think? Yeah, because they they looking at their life. And instead of correcting their shit, they rather point their finger and laugh at somebody else. But guess what? When you're done looking at me, you still got to deal with you. So I don't see how that's beneficial. I just stop doing things that don't benefit me. I just stop and judging other people, even caring about other people. Like, they downfall. If I can't help them, why am I hurt? Why am I going to kick somebody when they're already down? You know, I never, I never understand people like that. But to each his own, baby. These people weird. Weird. I can't take it anymore on this app. And and that's why I already told you. Like I be in people chat, but I mean I'm a, you know I'm a show love. I'm a light. I'm a just do it my way. And if that's not good enough, I understand. But I I can't do it, man. And it's not even. The people sometimes it's not even the content creator. Sometimes it just be the people in a chat. It's like the vibe be off. So I'm like I'm not even, you know, I'm straight. That be true uh, too. So don't, so don't think I'm not supporting people because I'm really there. I just don't rock with everybody, and I'm not. I'm just not gonna do it. I gotta. Put, I'm responsible for my energy. I'm responsible for my feelings. I'm responsible for my thoughts. So. God dang it. I get up. I try to get up off the bed and get the groceries off the porch and the baby wake up. <laughs> I can't move without uh, her. <laughs> all right. Yeah, appreciate it. Me, no? Oh, no problem. Yeah. Let me jump down so I can get this little thing together. Hey. But I think we go. Um, I'm going to hold an open panel. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But I wanted to talk about emotional intelligence. And I don't know who the hell is this on my porch now. You want to talk about emotional intelligence tonight? Oh, my bad. My wife cheating on me with Amazon. Oh, yeah. We do that all the time. <laughs> I got boxes on boxes on boxes. I gotta try to find some stock in Amazon. So I guess. Oh yeah, get you some stock in Amazon. I love Amazon. Baby, it come to your door in one or two days? Say it ain't so. Uh oh. Gotta love it. Trade, trade options, trade the I don't know. Amazon can be good to trade options sometimes. It's not a stock that I would look into like doing. Yeah, I would I wouldn't trade it like all the time, like every day. I would not trade it. But it is a good, it's a good start. Yeah, I'm braiding my hair. 
But man, trading can be life changing. Like I was telling Anti on her channel the other day, trading can literally. Oh, I forgot. I had my car off and my phone wasn't charging. Trading can be life changing. Shoot. But it's risky. Don't get don't get it twisted. It's risky. But I'm a I'm an adrenaline junkie. To literally trade something and within five minutes you could pay a car note. You could pay a electric bill, a gas bill. Man, that's that's the life I be trying to live right there. That's how I be trying to get it. It's life-changing money. Just think about it. You work eight hours a day. Sometimes in eight hours, people can't even pay their car note after they work eight hours. I can't wait to learn. Girl, I know you're going to eat the market up when you learn. I know you're going to eat the market up. It's going to be so much fun. I love it. I ain't going to hold you. To know that it's a way, to know that there's a way to make money, like, really fast, and you don't have to work your entire life, like, you don't have to just spend eight hours at work or 12 hours at work making the money, y'all, it's amazing, it's life-changing, it's life-changing. I don't even know what to do with myself sometimes. This is why even with me making the money that I make, and I'm not at that point yet. I don't want to get it twisted like somebody's trying to make it seem like I'm rich. No, I'm not there yet. But even me, I'll still do, this is how, like, I don't want to say bored I am, and I need to really start doing other stuff, but... Even I, to this day, will still do, like, Grubhub. I'll still do other stuff just so I can kind of get out the house and do something. Like, feel like I'm doing something, you know? Even though doing Grubhub, doing stuff like that, man, please. I can wake up and literally make that during the day. But sometimes I just be bored, y'all. I mean, I have YouTube, I have, um, you know, my personal life, but it's just, I don't know, I'll be kind of wanting to, like, get out and do something. And I take trips, I get out, but I don't know. It's weird. I'm working on that, Papa Will. I, I definitely am working on that. I got an ebook coming out, so I be, I'm working on that. Wealth is greater. Wealth is greater than riches, for sure. Yeah, I'm working on that, and then I'm supposed to be working on, like you said, some products, some type of merch. So I'll be getting that straight soon. You guys, I'm going to get off of here. I'll see y'all later. Thank y'all for coming and rocking with your girl. You going live today, Papa Will? <laughs> All right, you guys. I see y'all.